So let's actually um, start in a squat. Take a block or two. Yeah, take your feet really wide. Yeah. Lengthen your tailbone. Use the back of your triceps and press your inner thighs open. So it's gonna look like this. Yeah. And the goal is to sit up really tall. So that's why one or two blocks may be appropriate depending on what's going on. If you can, shut your eyes for a moment and just get yourself grounded. Let yourself just feel. Yeah, so wherever you've been, wherever you're going, you're just here right now in this moment and just letting your body reap the benefits of slowing down, of connecting to your breath and doing some simple yoga movements to make you feel good. That is the goal today. Sit up a little taller, draw the shoulders down the back. Hello. And find some space, anchor your feet to the mat. I'm Julie. Nice to meet you. Any injuries or anything? Your foot? Are you sure? Okay. You let me know and I will uh, help you out along the way. You could borrow my foot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Three more cycles of breath. Yeah. Lengthen. So the sensation of dropping down is what you want to create space. Yeah, keep the neck neutral, soften the shoulders down the back. Good, staying like this, just with the lower half of the body. See if you can bring your arms straight up towards the sky. Yeah, straight up like you're holding a block in between your hands. Obviously, if you have a little bit tighter shoulder restriction, your arms are gonna be a little wider. Keep your neck very neutral, stay here. So let yourself just feel. So the sensation of the lower half of the body moving down, upper half of the body wants to go up. <clears throat> so like a slow operation, I want you to anchor your heels into the mat, feel your feet, use your quadriceps, use your core, start to root to rise, come straight up towards the sky, take your time. See if you could do it without using your hands. You're gonna press down and start to extend straight up. So you're gonna stand, you're gonna press all the way up. So you're gonna press, 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 press. And you're gonna draw the hands to prayer. Bring your feet together about hips width distance or together to completely, it's up to you. Drop your arms alongside your body and just stand in mountain pose for a moment. Good, sweep your arms straight up towards the sky. You can look up a little. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. So as you forward fold, bend your knees a lot, have your blocks nearby if you need them. Long spine, so as you create a long spine, your hands may need to just press into the front of your shins as an alternative. Exhale, let's fold in half, let your head go. Good, root to rise, come all the way up. These are amended. Mm -hmm. Drag it to prayer at heart, drop your arms. So just really simple and basic. Arms drop down. Again, arms go straight up towards the sky, look up a little. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head just go. Long spine to prepare, your hands can press into your shins, look forward a little, keep the neck neutral though. Exhale, fold into yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer at heart, drop your arms. One more, arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine to prepare, this time take two big steps back and land in a down dog. Just go to a down dog. So first down dog, uh-huh. Hands are nice and wide. Index fingers, you know, for most of the time they're pretty much forward. Creases of the wrist are facing forward. And then you want movement of your shoulders away from your ears, if that's possible. Maybe soften a little behind your knees if your hamstrings feel tight. Mm -hmm. Take up a lot of space on your mat. Breathe the hips way up off the shoulders this morning. Let your head just dangle low. And breathe. Roll forward with your chest for plank. So lead with your heart and chest. And when you come forward, fix your eyes on the front skinny edge of the mat. So if you get here and you're like, all right, I don't feel that 
Like I've got that much strength in my foundation today. Maybe I need to drop my knees. I maybe have an injury going on. Listen to what your body is telling you. Modify if need be, okay? So fire up the core, regardless of where you are with your knees. Feel your outer triceps begin to hug in. Activate your legs and then bring more weight forward onto your tippy toes. There you go. Nice alignment, everybody. Get the round out of the upper shoulder blades. Hold here, a few more breaths. Use the inhale, followed by a strong exhale, also known as the ujjayi breath. Another big breath in, feel the ground, hips up and back, downward facing dog. So most likely you found your sweet spot. Roll forward plank in one piece, in one motion. Yeah. Drop your knees down at an angle, everybody. So your thigh bones are kind of on a, a rotation. Lower halfway to a supported push-up or maybe a micro movement. It could just be a little bit. Keep the neck nice and neutral. Yes. Restraighten your arms to supported plank and pause. Do that again. Lower halfway. Keep the knees down. Bring your weight a little bit more forward. Nice match. Restraighten your arms to supported plank. So nice and slow. Again, halfway to a supported push-up. Less is more. Listen to what your, what your body is telling you. Restraighten your arms, supported plank. One more. Halfway, supported push-up. Just lower a little bit if that's what's telling you, what your body's telling you to do. Restraighten your arms, supported plank. Lift the knees. You're in plank position. Hold. Lengthen your tailbone. Hips up and back. Down dog. Come forward to plank. Hug your right knee towards your navel. Yeah, so if you're lower back sensitive this morning, you can do this with your hips lifted a little higher. Sometimes that gives you a little bit more access. Look forward with your eyes, land your right foot all the way forward and through. Be on your fingertips for just a brief moment. Feel the length and the strength of your back left leg. And let's step forward with our left foot to meet our right at the top of the mat. Long spine on the inhale breath, exhale, fold into yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up, anchor. Drag it to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Look up with your eyes. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Let your head go. Good. Long spine to prepare. Giant step back with your right leg. Left foot joins plank position. Good. Halfway to a push-up that works best for you. You could modify if you need. Restraighten your arms to plank position. Pause. Left knee in towards navel. Navel. Point your toes, arms are straight up and down. Scoop up the belly here. Look forward with your eyes and go ahead and step your left foot all the way forward and through. Come to your fingertips, pause. Right foot meets left foot top of that. Nice, nice long spine on the inhale. Exhale, fold again, let your head go. Root to rise. Did you really? Yeah, that's funny. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. If things always work that way. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees. Let your head go. Long spine to prepare. Nice long spine. Yeah, big step back with your left leg. Hands go flat, then the right foot joins plank. So you're in a plank, lower halfway to a push-up, and then pause in the push-up. Up dog or cobra, pick what suits your lower back best. If your lower back feels sensitive, you can just take a baby cobra. Nice. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look where you want to go. You can step, you can float, you can crawl. I think I'm definitely more in the crawling chapter of my life these days. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer. There's no judgment. Drop your arms. Here we go. Let's keep going. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Good. Long spine to prepare. Step or float through your version of a vinyasa. So you can just step, step to plank, then lower to your appropriate push-up. Then peel through for your up dog or cobra. You pick. Hips up and back, down dog. Good. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float to the top of the mat. Get there light. Long spine to prepare. Exhale, fold. Let your head go. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag it to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. 
Keep going. You want to get in the groove here. Arms go up. Yep. Dive over bent knees. Let your head go. Long spine to prepare. Step or float through a vinyasa of choice. You can just step to a dog even and hold for a couple extra breaths. Up dog is smooth. Hips up and back down dog. Press down evenly with your hands. Activate your arms. Keep them straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float. Top of mat. Get their light. Long spine to prepare. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. One more for good luck. Arms go straight up. Breathe. Dive over. Bend knees forward. Fold. Let your head go. Long spine to prepare. Step or float through a vinyasa. Adding or subtracting push-ups, back bends, anything goes. Just make it feel right. Meet me in a dog. Roll forward to plank again. Take your right knee close towards your navel. Just, just to activate the center line. It's helpful as we do it. Look forward with your eyes. Land your right foot forward and through. Walk your right foot, Jodi, a little bit to the right. There you go. Be on your fingertip. Activate your back leg. Uh-huh. Steer your right hip back a tad. And then root to rise, crescent lunge. Just come up nice and simple. Play with your lunge here. Heavy in that front thigh. Try to avoid dumping down into the knee. Back leg may need to have a little slight bend to it, depending on how it feels. Yeah, I play with that around with that all the time. This looks great. Hip points forward, arms activate towards the sky. And you could look up a little with your eyes. You could just look forward at yourself. You could smile. Sometimes looking at yourself straight in the mirror, like in a wake up. Yeah. Couple more breaths. Just being still in the moment, which is sometimes the hardest part. Anywhere you want your arms today, you could drop them alongside your body. You could bring your hands to prayer. You can keep them as they are. Start to tip forward with your torso, and you're going to press off to warrior three. Now, if your balance is a little crappy, reach for some black blocks out in front of you and use that as some guidance. Yep, so warrior three. A pretty deep bend in that standing right leg is recommended. If the arms are alongside your body, try and have your palms facing down. Steer your left inner thigh down towards the ground. Lift your heart a little higher than everything else. Fix your eyes on something that's not moving. Bend a little deeper behind that standing right leg and then take a generous step back, warrior one. See if you can land your back foot in about a 70 degree angle. The back left toes have to spin forward enough that your thigh bone moves with you. So my foot's like this. I don't know how your foot feels. So you kind of have to play with it. Totally cool. Arms go up. And then think about your left ribs and turning them forward. Heavy in that front thigh, anchor through the outer blade of your back foot, and just pause. Sometimes it's nice to let the hands come to a prayer up towards the sky if that doesn't feel compromised in the shoulder. Another big breath in. Stay with it. Hands to frame your front foot. Plank position. When you get to plank, hold plank or hold push-up chaturanga, and that could be done traditionally or with the knees down. Pick one. Restraighten your arms, whatever you've chosen. Hug your left knee towards your navel. Point your left toes. Keep your arms straight up and down. Activate your core as you hug into the center line. Look forward with your eyes. Land your left foot all the way forward and through. Come to your fingertips. That gives you a little bit of space to maneuver your feet. Left foot may need to go to the left a little bit. Left hip grips in. Back leg strong. Feel and then rise. High lunge. Yeah, and you may need to soften your back knee because the idea is that your hip points need to be forward. Yeah, side ribs long, heavy in that front thigh. Fix your eyes on something that's not moving. The hardest part is to calm the mind and be still in these postures. Anywhere you want your arms, they can stay as is, arms alongside the body, hands to prayer, tip forward with your torso, and launch off warrior three. Once again, if the blocks kind of aid you into the process, then please use them, place them up high, enough in front of you that your side body stays long, your neck is neutral. Spin your right thigh down towards the ground, squeeze the shoulder blades on the back. 
significant little bend in that left leg is gonna help with the balance. And if you fall and fuck a little, it's okay. You get back, you try it again. Couple more. So bend a little more in that standing left leg and then take a generous step back, turning your back foot warrior one. Back foot's at about a 70 degree angle. Yep, once you land, sweep your arms back up towards the sky. Make sure your feet are about hips width distance to get the accurate alignment. Yeah. <clears throat> Steer the right ribs forward and maybe the hands gather to a prayer depending on how you feel. The prayer would stay up towards the sky though. Yeah. Sit a little deeper into that front thigh. Activate the outer blade of your back foot. And just feel the simplicity of the pose. Hands to frame your front foot plank position. When you hit plank, lower to your appropriate push up, chaturanga. Drag yourself to the right back bend, up dog or cobra, you pick. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Wasn't that fun? Take a deep breath in, take a full breath out. Good. Look where you want to go. We'll put it all together. Step or hop top of mat. Long spine, fold. Sit heavy in your heels for chair. Your feet could be together or I like it a little separated. It's personal preference. Stick your butt way back though and keep a natural curve in your low spine. Neck is neutral. Transfer the weight into your heels, guys, and shoot up to stand up with a little energy, a little oomph. Drag the hands to prayer. Drop your arms. Together we go. Arms up towards the sky, heavy in your heels for chair. Sit deep. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine to set it up, step or float through a vinyasa. Up dog pulls you through, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns, rise. Warrior one, take your time. Not too fast, not too slow, just right for you. Hands to frame your front foot, plank through a vinyasa of choice. You can skip whatever you need to. You got it. When you get to your dog, land your left foot forward. So you want to build your momentum. Rise. Nice. Hands back down, chaturanga. Up dog is smooth. Hips up and back, downward facing. You recollect yourself here. You breathe. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float top of mat. Long spine on the inhale, fold into yourself, heavy in your heels for chair. Now you're going, you get it going. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Arms go straight up, heavy in your heels, chair. Sit deep, stick your butt way back. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spines prepare, step or float through a vinyasa. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns. If I'm moving too fast, you slow it down for you. We'll wait for you at the end. Warrior one, right side. Hands back down, chaturanga. That's okay, just do the other side the next time. Yep, up dog. That's the good thing about yoga. There's always the opportunity to do the other side, even if it's like the opposite. Left foot forward, back foot turns, rise. Hands back down, chaturanga. Up dog pulls you through, hips up and back, down dog is where we meet. Feel the ground in your down dog. Look where you wanna go, step or float, top of mat, get there light. Long spine weight is forward, exhale fold. Heavy in your heels, chair, sit deep. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Arms go up, heavy in your heels, chair. Sit into it deeply, stick your butt way back. And then exhale the breath, you fold always over a little bit of bent legs. Long spine to prepare yourself, step or float, vinyasa. Up dog is smooth. Hips up and back, down dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns. Building guys, some heat here. Rise, warrior one. Back down we go through a chaturanga. Once you get to your dog, land your left foot forward, back foot turns, rise. 
Back down we go, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing. Right foot lands, back foot turns. Let's come up, warrior one, but hold for a beat. Yeah. So in this warrior one, just bring your arms forward and wrap your left arm underneath your right. Yeah. Inhale your breath, lift your heart and your chest a little. Exhale, come forward a humble warrior like this. So it's not only a hip opener, but it opens up the shoulders really nicely. And the nature, what happens here is that the right hip wants to scoot out. So you've got to hug your right hip in and continuously turn the left side of your body forward. Now the feeling with your arms is that you're kind of pulling them forward towards the front skinny edge of the mat. Anchor that right foot, your right hip. Anchor your left leg. Engage the muscles around the left quadricep. And breathe. We're staying a drop longer. Heavy in your legs, pull just your torso up. As the torso starts to come up, the legs stay in first warrior. Unravel your arms and feel the fresh blood flow. And then take it to the floor for a vinyasa and just clear it out. Once you get to your dog, land your left foot forward, turn your back foot strong, rise on your breath, warrior one, and we hold for a beat. Arm slide right forward, just like a tray, and then you wrap your right arm underneath your left. And if you can't, you just grab opposite shoulders. Lift the elbows up a little, create a little bit of openness. Eyes of the shoulders lift, and then come forward, humble warrior like this. I actually really prefer to take it this way. Yeah. So left hip has to grip in, and then the right side of your body spins forward. You got it. And then it feels like you're pulling your hands like glue towards the front skinny edge of the mat. And then breathe. Breathe a little more intensely. Heavy in your legs, guys. Anchor your feet. Use the strength. Pull your torso up. You got it. Then unravel your arms. Feel. Take it to the floor vinyasa. Keep it moving. The up dog is smooth. Should feel pretty good. Hips up and back, down dog. Arms stay super straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float top of mat. Get their light. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Sit heavy in your heels, chair. Drag the hands to prayer. Inhale your breath. Let's hook and turn to the right. So if you're just kind of air twisting to right to the right, that's fine. You don't have to hook in there. It's all about the alignment, keeping your feet, your shins, your knees, your hips all in the same line of energy while the weight moves back into your heels. The spine stays nice and long. We look sideways, we look up. You're welcome to open up your arms or add any other variation that feels good for you today. Basic is cool too. Keep the weight moving back, the shins moving back. Keep squeezing. Yeah. Heavy in your legs, let's take it back to a chair. Pause and chair. Keep the legs solid and strong. Drag the hands back to prayer. Inhale your breath. Let's hook and go to the left. Yeah. And if you're just air twisting today, you could just stay up and just kind of create that dimension of twist. Watch that the entire right side of the body is in coming with you. Yeah, open up your arms. Jody, it looks good. You didn't lose too much in Turks and Caicos. Maybe just your mind, but that's okay. We we're always we're always could get that back. Yeah. Stay with it. So we get to the posture and we have to hold for a little so we can work through it. Yep. Chair pose, pull it around. Yeah. Chair. And take it low, 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 low. Let's come down to boat Navasana. So sometimes I take boat using blocks. I really like it. So I slide a block to both sides and I use them kind of to grip the ground. 
You can claw the, the, the blocks, you can have the palms flat, but really think about drawing your belly in. It gets you out of your low back. It's a nice way to take it. Not for you, not offended. Just throw things out there. Yep. Yeah, and then when you lower the low bow, you can keep your hands on those blocks and it really helps. You may need to slide them back a little or a little forward. Find a position, lower back is down, neck is neutral. And then you pull it up and we row the boat. I know you're super excited about this. Lower halfway. Pull it up. You got it. The song's called My Friends. Lower halfway, you may not be my friends after this. Bring it back up. We got one more. Halfway. Back up. Arms forward for a beat. Cross the ankles, step or float through a vinyasa. Or maybe it's a crawl. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, take a full breath out. Come forward to plank. Take your right knee to the outset of your right tricep area. It doesn't have to touch, just go in the general direction. Yeah, keep looking forward. Take your right knee straight in to the center line. Step your right foot forward and through. Turn your back foot on a strong angle and circle open to warrior two. You never thought you'd be happy to see warrior two. Yeah, wrap your inner right thigh open. Yeah, I always make sure my back toes are turned on a little angle. It's helpful. And then think of the squat we did early in the class. This is the same alignment with your tailbone. You want to drop straight down. Breathe your collarbone and your chest open. Fix your eyes on something, anything that's not moving, or maybe shut them for a few breaths. And just be with yourself, your body, your mind, your breath, your thoughts. They come and go. That is normal. Breathe a little more love to the left arm. Yeah. Sit a little deeper. Flip the palm. Let's reverse the warrior this morning. And this is not a back bend. It's just a side body, like kind of extension. Come back through warrior two and rest your right arm on the top of your right thigh. Yeah. Yeah, soften the right shoulder. Have your left arm straight up or up and forward, depending on you. Yeah. Rip your right hip in and turn your bottom ribs from right to left. So you're gonna either circle your arm in front of your face or use your top arm, pull yourself back up, warrior two. So we're gonna do this a few times, just try and get into the hip a little. Sit a little deeper, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Yeah, find extension first, come back through warrior two, rest your form on the top of your thigh, make it nice and light. Yep, top arm straight up, up and over, whatever feels good. Circle or pull up, warrior two, use the strength of your body. One more for good luck, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Back through warrior two, and this time arm to top of thigh, or maybe you wanna go deeper, hand to the outside of the foot is where we're going today for the A variation. So I go outside through the block. Yeah, this is actually Cheryl's working the, the outer hip a little more. I find the inside is much easier. I always go for the inside. I, want, I always want the inside. <laughs> The outside is like nagging, annoying, so deeper, but we're gonna do what we need. Yeah, sit a little deeper into that front thigh. Maybe take the block even higher. Like I'm gonna go the highest when I practice later. I'm gonna do geriatric yoga this afternoon. If you wanna look through the, the window, go be me on a, on a chair doing yoga. Yeah. Post skiing yoga. Yeah, stay with it. That right hip wants to snaggle out, so hug it in and stay with the breath. A few more. The exit out's gonna be fun. Look to the floor, Mitch is ready. Hands come down, left hand comes to the floor. Peel to the outer blade of your left foot. Keep your left hand planted and come into Vashisasana with a tree pose. So it's side plank on your left hand. Side plank on your left hand, yes. Now. I'm suggesting right leg bends up into a tree. That is a suggestion. You can modify, you can drop down, you can stagger the feet. 
Yep, modified is great. From your bottom hip through your top hip, you lift. Top arm can stay up or come up and forward. You pick. Plank position, chaturanga. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Exhale all the breath out. That was great work. Come forward to plank. Take your left knee to the outside of your left tricep, just in the general direction. Keep looking forward with your eyes. Left knee straight in. Activate that core again. Step the left foot all the way forward and through. Turn your back foot on a strong angle. Circle open warrior two. So my husband's starting to look like Chris Stapleton. <laughs> He's grown a beard that's down to his waist. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and has acquired a cowboy hat. Yeah. He doesn't have his voice. So we're, we're selling him out a little. Yeah, warrior two. Close your eyes, settle into it. Just a few breaths. Let the body, the muscles, the mind, everything just make the connection here. Use the strength of your back right arm. It's just as important as your front left arm. Soften the shoulders down the back. Wrap that inner left thigh open. Lengthen your tailbone, Jody. Draw your navel to the back of your spine. You got it. Flip the palm, guys. Reverse the warrior. Let the side body open. Then come back through warrior two. Try not to plop your arm on the top of your thigh. Make a real light connection here. So your shoulders soft away from your ear. Your left hip rips in. Your bottom ribs turn from left to right. And your top arm, you pick a desired location for it. Top arm straight up, up and forward. The neck is neutral. Anchor strong through your feet. Use your leg, your core strength. Circle the top arm and use that top arm to just pull back up warrior two. Sit a little deeper in your warrior two. Lift the palm, reverse the warrior again. Create that extra juicy space. Come back through warrior two. Rest your form again on the top of your thigh. So knowing you're doing it a few times gives you the opportunity to open a little deeper. That left hip likes to kind of snaggle out. So hug it in. Yeah. So either circle the arm or use the strength of the arm to pull yourself back up warrior two. Sit a little deeper. Flip the palm, reverse your warrior one more time. Come back through warrior two. Find your way into extended side angle A or repeat modified extended side angle. Yeah. Block to the outside of the foot. I place it up on the highest direction. It gives you a nice little lift for that shoulder. Outer left leg and inside of left arm make a nice marriage. And the right arm straight up or up and forward. You pick. Crown of the head is moving forward over that front foot as we breathe. Soften the shoulder. You're doing great. So it's almost like your shoulder, your arm is not there. It's so light. It's so light. A couple more breaths. So think of the transition, really smooth and simple. Look to the floor, take the hands down. The right hand firms up. You roll right onto the outer blade of your right foot. And then your left leg can come right up into a tree or you can modify if you need to or stagger the feet if that suits you best. You could take the, the top foot in front of the bottom foot. I like that way. Get it really firm to the ground though. There you go. Nice. Find what you know you can hold. And it starts to get a little tricky. The body starts to shiver and shake a little. Let me say two more breaths. Transitioning to plank, slow, no flopping. Chaturanga push-up is there for you. Up dog, press even through the hands, the tops of the feet. Hips up and back, downward facing. Exhale all the breath out. 
Good. Stay with it, guys. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Long spine on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag it to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. Have your block to the top of your mat, especially, um, yeah, a little bit forward. Stand on your right leg and draw the left leg up into tree pose. Yeah, left leg bends into tree. So just like what we just did. Hug your outer hips in. And then grow the branches of your trees, however it, they feel. Maybe they have a little snow in them today, so they're a little wider and a little heavier. Right. Rip your outer hips in. The challenge becomes with your drifty, your gaze. So look forward, maybe soften, look up a little. Stay with it. Challenging our balance a little bit today. Take your left hand to your hip. Keep your right arm up. Yes. You're going to start to look forward. We're transitioning to Ardhan Trindrasana, known as half moon. So your right leg is the balancing leg. You're going to bend forward. You're going to reach out and reach for the block off the edge of that right foot and not forward. And then open up your left leg into that Ardhan Trindrasana. Working on the, the length and the strength of that right standing leg, keeping that foot forward. And if you fall, always the opportunity to restart again. Not a problem. Lift from that inner thigh and then spread open when you're ready, if you're ready. Turn your bottom ribs, look sideways, look up. Flex those left toes strong, stack your body open. If there's anything you like to add in your half moon, if it's a bind, if it's working on balance, you're welcome to take that. The sake of today's practice, yes, anything goes. If you are kicking, the kick goes behind you for the back bend. If not, you just keep it basic and stay grounded with your right foot, your right hip, keeping that energy forward. Yeah. If you added in anything fun or fancy to it, release to a regular art or listen carefully, guys. It's a light transition back to triangle. So you got to guide that left leg back and step open triangle pose. Use your block, pull up anywhere in the front of your right shin. And if it didn't work out, just recreate the position for triangle pose, trikonasana. Not a big deal. Sometimes the step backs are challenging. Yeah. Good, Mitch. I like the block. Block up high is helpful. Grab anywhere along the front of the right shin if you're not using the block. Lean back a little bit without going into your lower back. Couple more. Hug your outer hips in, lengthen from your hip to your armpit on the right side. Look to the floor, circle it down, chaturanga. Go right through a vinyasa. Let your body just move and breathe. The up dog is smooth. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Look forward. Step, lightly hop. Get your feet to the top of the mat one more time. Long spine weight is forward. Fold into yourself. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. Have your block to the top of the mat. Stand on your left leg and bend your right leg up into tree. Yeah. Anywhere along the instep of that left leg, it's fine. Just I wouldn't press it against the instep of the knee. Go other leg, Jody. You did that leg. Yeah. So the trick with this pose is grip your outer hips in. And then grow the branches of your tree, however they work for you today. Side ribs nice and long. Fix the eyes. Soften the shoulders down the back. Quiet your mind and let your body just do the practice. Keep the left arm up. Just bring your right hand to your hip. That's going to assist in the transition, hopefully. Start to look forward a little. You have to soften your left knee a tiny bit. Keep the left hip gripping in. Start to find your way to Arda, nice and slow. 
yeah, reach for the block. Definitely use the block. High setting is going to be helpful off the edge of that left toe. And if you need to reset for some reason, you do so. Stack it open. Yes, turn your bottom ribs. Breathe your right hip up a little higher. Flex your right toes. Add in whatever you feel is desired here. Binding is great. Working on balance and just hugging that left hip is awesome. To challenge the balance, we have to try new things sometimes. Look sideways, look up. It's okay. It is okay. If you added a bind, just release to regular Arda. So you almost have to visualize the transition first. Get real light with that left hand. Soften behind that left knee and then take a nice slow step back into Trikonasana, triangle pose. If it didn't work out, you can always reset to the desired width um, of your triangle pose, okay? Reach out, place the hand to the outside of your calf, shin area, or grab anywhere along the front side of your ship. You wanna pull up, like you're moving the leggings or moving the skin up your leg. From your hip to your armpit on the left side, it's nice and long. Turn those bottom ribs, look sideways, look up, and then see if you can lighten your load a little in the pose, like less effort, just make the posture simple, breathe into it. Couple more breaths. Eyes go to the floor, circle the hands down to plank, okay? Hit plank position for a breath, hold plank. Slowly drop to your form to forearm plank. So you're gonna drop down to your forms for forearm plank. Now you can clasp your hands, you can have them separated shoulder width distance as well. Either way is great. Bring more weight forward. Yeah, onto your tippy toes. Now, yeah, we're holding forearm plank. If you wanna work up into an inversion today, this is a great place to add this in. If not, you're just maintaining a nice solid core, broadening across the upper shoulder blades. You got it. If you're gonna walk, walk up into a dolphin pose, you have to kind of walk your feet in, and then you would work on pincha from here, maybe lifting one leg, the other leg, if that's in the cards. Keep looking forward, Jody. Look forward. Yes, five more breaths wherever you are. Five more breaths. You got this. Child's pose for a beat. Drop down. Reach your arms back. Grab the base of your feet. Reconnect with yourself. You're going to keep it together. you got a little bit more work to do. Let the forehead spread across the front of the mat. Let the lower back spread against the tops of the feet. Find some ease. Slide your arms forward, activate your hands, lift up to dog. You got it. If you need to clean it up, please do so. You can roll forward to plank, lower halfway to a push up. Drag yourself to an up dog or cobra. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. From this down dog, land your right foot forward, crescent lunge. High on the ball of your back foot or opting to drop the back knee if you need to. Rise, high lunge. High lunge. Good. You were here earlier in the practice. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Inhale the breath. So lean out a little first, like you're going to launch, but then keep that length and then take your twist. Hook the elbow and twist. Now, if you get here and it doesn't feel great in your lower back, you can modify. Drop your back knee. Use a block inside or outside. Yeah, look sideways, look up. You want to get the crown of the head to line up with your back left heel. Yeah, that was awesome. Twist a little deeper.
two more. Hands to frame your front foot, pause. Step your back foot in a little bit shorter. Yep, so it's like a short warrior one. Come to the fingertips, long spine. Hands to your hips, come halfway up. Come the rest of the way up. So sometimes you need to kind of finagle this a little. Maybe the right foot needs to wiggle a little forward and over to the right. Right hand on your hip, left arm extends up for twisting triangle. Inhale your breath, come halfway, steer your right hip back, and then come the rest of the way down for twisting triangle pose. So you're ready for this. You may not feel ready, but you're ready. Use a block on the instep of your foot. Right hand can be on the flat part of your back if you're not ready to peel it open. Yeah. Look sideways, look up. Try not to look back. When we look back, we have the tendency of rounding into our spine. Yes. Nice long spine. Crown of the head is moving forward. Outer hips are gripping in. As you anchor that back foot, twist a little deeper. Is that right? Two more. Nice work, everybody. Chaturanga, take it to the floor. Keep it moving. Keep your mind checked in. Take a nice bold up dog. Yeah, press even. Hips up and back down dog. Left foot lands, crescent lunge. Keep it together. Left foot lunge, crescent lunge. Rise on up. Hands to prayer at heart. So like, you're, like we did before, like create a lot of length, lean forward a little, and then hook and twist. And that's going to get you that space. Back knee can drop if you need to. Utilize a block on the instep or the out. Hook that hip under and then twist open. You're high on the ball of your back foot. Look sideways, look up. You could spread your arms open. A little more breath, just kind of even the pose out. Activate your back leg. Two more, way to hang with it. Nice slow transitions, hands to frame your front foot, pause. Step your back foot in, make it a smaller, tighter stance. Get your back foot anchored, then bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up and then root to rise to come up to set up. Left hand on your hip, grow the right arm up towards the sky. Go nice and big with that right arm. Come halfway down and then come the rest of the way down to secure your twisting triangle. Use a block to the instep of that foot. Your hand can also rest in the front of the shin. I like doing it that way. Your hand can be on the flat part of your back. You don't have to peel your left arm open. Kind of gives you some info. Yeah. Steer your hips back like someone's got you by a bungee cord. Stay with it. Two more. Take it to the floor, chaturanga. Nice work. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, down dog. Right knee comes forward, half pigeon. Now the good stuff comes. Yeah, so you get to this point and the good stuff, you start to pay off. Right knee forward, half pigeon. Yeah, if there's an alternative version to this that you prefer, please take it, seat it on your back. Yeah, block underneath your right butt cheek is helpful. Yes. Melt yourself down into the ground. How can you let go? It is possible.
Use the strength of your body to start to come up. You're going to lean on your right side and swing your left leg forward for a half pigeon. Uh, not, not for half pigeon. We just did that for a, a half separate leg stretching. It looks like this. But we're not going to that because I don't like that pose. <laughs> right hand behind you. Okay. We're going to do a little crossover between side plank and uh, back bend. Okay. And reach up and back. Bell pose. Nice. Yeah. Exhale the breath, start to lower with control. Once you hit the floor, you're gonna take your right leg and cross it over the top. You can do it with a straight left leg, totally fine. If you wanna bend it up into a more traditional way of Arden Matsandrasana, you can. Either way is great. So ultimately we're gonna get the piriformis to stretch. So if you hug the leg in, you're gonna feel that stretch and then inhale, lengthen up and then exhale, look over the shoulder and twist. Yeah. Exhale the breath, come through center. If you'd like to counter stretch, that's fine. Come back to neutral, hands are gonna go reverse, legs are gonna bend in half, and you're gonna exhale the breath to reverse tabletop. You're gonna press up. You can just look down the center line of the body and make sure it's not sad, sad thinking and sad. I know. Thinking and sagging and sad. Lift a little higher, lengthen from the tailbone to the backs of the knees. Exhale the breath, lower the seat down, cross the ankles. You can shoot, you can step back one last vinyasa here to get you to the other side. The up dog pulls you through, hips up and back down dog. The left leg lands, left side half pigeon. Yeah. Perfect. Any variation of hip opener. We're holding for a good minute. And one side's always better than the other, so. Let yourself go in a little deeper here. Use the strength of your body, start to come up. You're gonna drop over onto the left side and sweep the right leg forward. Yep, so it's like a little tree because that was our whole concept today. We are like little trees growing in here. Yeah, left hand behind you, wet, soggy trees. <laughs> Lift up into sail. No, honestly, like a, a lot of us hadn't practiced in a week or whatever. This is a great way to work into your hips, into your lower back, that's into a back bend that's a little, a little less abrasive, yes. Really breathe space into the front line of the body as you lift a little higher, anchor that left hand. Exhale the breath, start to lower down. As you hit the floor, yes, your right leg can just stay out in front of you and your left leg can bend in half for the supine twist, which is seated. Yes, Ardhamatsandrasana, or you can bend up that left leg. Perfect, you got it. Did you switch legs for some, somehow or another? You switched, yeah, now you're back on it. Perfect, left hand behind you. The closer your hand is to the base of the spine, the easier it's gonna to be to sit up taller. And then you can give that leg a little hug, it needs it. Lengthen up, and then look over the shoulder and rinse it out. I guess my daughter went to school, it's a good sign, yeah. Yeah, well, two, three. Freedom. 
Exhale the breath, come around. Unwind, take your hands and reverse them once again. Fingers are gonna face you. Get the feet, like I said, a railroad track. On the exhale breath, one more little back bend here, lift up, reverse tabletop. So you can just lift a little here. You can keep your neck very neutral. Yes, but the concept is lift from your tailbone to the backs of the knees, firm up the sides of your arms. Do not like powering your lower back into the posture. Lift a little higher. Exhale the breath, lower down. Good. When you hit the floor, lay down on your backs. Uh huh. Take your block with you. And we're going to set up to finish the practice with supported shoulder stand. Okay. And then after that, I'll put you in it for a minute. I'm going to take you right to Shavasana. Okay. So set yourself up like you're going into a supported bridge. So it's like, yes. And you can pick the height of the block if you see. Yep. And then you elevate your legs. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm hmm. Close your eyes. Bend your knees, take your feet flat, keep your eyes closed. Once the feet come flat, just remove the block out. Lower the lower back and slide yourself into full Shavasana now. Anything that makes you comfortable for the next minute or so, just relax. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Bring your arms up over the top of the head for a full body stretch, Just kind of reaching out. Hug your knees in towards your chest, give them a solid squeeze in. And any way you like to sit up is welcome. So just rock to the side, roll straight up, maybe staying down. And then sitting up in this newfound body of ours, hopefully, drag the hands to prayer and just have some closure, but more importantly, have some gratitude. This is solid uh, feel-good class. Thank yourselves for showing up. Lift your head, open your eyes. Namaste. Yes, go out there, have an awesome, fun, little wet, snowy day. And um, I'm here on on uh, next week. Yeah. I just like that day it is. I'm here soon. I'll be back again.